hi this video is going to show you how to set up uh, the impact force measurement system that Lodestar offers um, this is the actual uh, force force plates with the, the load cell here uh, the cable comes out and goes in through the terminal block into the di 1000 hs 10k um, you do need to power this so I'm just gonna insert the power in a second and the USB needs to be connected into your into a hub or directly into the USB port of a PC so we'll connect the power here uh, which is included with the package when we ship it to you so the power is included do not mess with any of the settings here because the system comes fully calibrated already Okay, so once this is connected and powered up, powered up, uh, we have to start the software setup process that I'll show you in a second now. So when you start installing the software, it should uh, the installation program should install the LoadView 1000 HS-10K, and then set up this program called InstaCal on your desktop. You know, with an icon that looks like this an icon that looks like this but in case you don't see it there for you know uh, we know that on Windows 10 system sometimes it does not install it for some reason unknown to us it works on all other Windows operating systems but Windows 10 it may or may not install this thing here in that case you just go to your C drive program files and then load star sensors and then look under the load view 1000hs-10k directory under the drivers folder and you will see this iCal setup and go ahead and double click it to run it and once you run that it should install this iCal setup here okay here and now let's double click that and this driver install program will start and then it comes up with this message that says uh, the BTH 1280 BLS with serial number is stored has not been detected it's a strange message but just say okay when you see this message and then once you say okay it says I it, it goes ahead and finds it and says you just found it so at that point you're all set when you just say okay and you're done with this program setup and you just quit and then you start the load view 1000 hs 10k which you should find an icon like this on your computer on the desktop and i'm going to double start double click it to start it it says it detected the board say okay and at this point the program will look something like this so the program has started. The first thing you need to do is select or configure here and then add a new device by putting in the ID. So let me get the calibration sheet that we include with the order. You should go ahead and grab that and then go to this step. So let me get that, hold on a second. So here is the actual copy of the cert that we include with the package where we actually tell you what the 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 force per volt is so this is what we need to enter up here so let me do that right now so I'll call it F1709 F1709 21321 the force type channel 0 calibration is in kilograms and it is 186.215 kilograms per volt so we save that and we select it so we're going to be using that guy so we save it select it and then close so now you should see right here so we have selected this sensor, the 186 kilogram per volt is entered into the system. 
and then it's working on channel zero and then let's say at capture time 10 seconds at 10 kilohertz uh, we can do it in pounds or kilogram so so let's say in kilogram and this shows you the file name under which you can log the data if you wish so since you'll see the data but you probably want to log the data and then open it in excel just enter a file name and then before you use it just say zero it with zero load okay and then and then for 10 seconds now we'll start capturing the data okay so let me stop for a second and then show you the actual impacting so I'm gonna start the capture process by clicking on start and then here's the thing I'm just gonna hit it so I've hit it 10 times oh and you can see that we captured the data so you can see this data is saying that, you know, you can see time on the x-axis and the force of each impact on the y-axis. So I've been hitting somewhere between 50 to 65 pounds or so approximately with my fist. If you want to zoom into any one particular uh, zone, you can click F9, the function key F9, and then you know, the cursor turns into a plus sign and then you can just look at a certain zone like I'm doing here. So now you're just looking and zooming into the area of interest. Now you can see the, the dynamic nature and, and this is from 3 seconds to 3.1 seconds. So just in 0 0.1 seconds, you know, we've gotten hundreds of data points in here to capture the peak force accurately. So that's how it works. You know, you can change your file name. You can change uh, the data capture rate. You can go as high as, you know, up to 50 kilohertz. But just remember that the higher uh, data rates, the noise can be higher and the amount of time for which you can capture will be lower. So, so just uh, pick the appropriate parameters for your test. And also uh, when you're doing the testing, start slowly and at lower loads you know don't just go and uh, bang something gigantic with a gigantic force before you have an idea what what those force levels are so start slowly and gently and then go higher and higher until you have a good idea of what your impact forces are okay so that's how our impact force measurement solution works hopefully you get it set up and you can use it well and you know send us pictures video clips a little description of whatever you're doing so we can share with other viewers. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.